teacher, myself, Rashmi Mishra. I'm well trained in classical dance form, Katha, as well as in main dance, western dance forms. So today, I'm going to give you the basic lesson of classical dance that is Katha. Yes, so this is going to be your very first dance class of Katha. So this will be your basic dance class. So first of all you must know about that the Katha is a uh, classical dance form. As you must know that in India there are eight classical dance form. Okay, and Kathak is one of them. Basically, classical dance forms are just totally depend on leg and tar. It means they are the combination of leg and tar. So a classical dancer must be well trained to complete a tar. Okay, dance must be based on the tar. There will be some leg will be played by tabla, harmonium, sitar, bansuri or any classical instrument and the dancer will accompany the tal with that particular instrument. So basically Kathak dance form are being accompanied by tabla. Okay. So in further you will get to know that many bowls of tabla are danced by a Kathak dancer or the bowl of Kathak is being played by the tabla player. So uh, there is a great combination between tabla or Kathak. So uh, we have many tal. We have many tals in Kathak. So one of the beautiful tal is teen tal. Yes, teen tal Kathak. So every tal we have some matras. Listen carefully that every tal has some matras that this particular tal is dance on these matras like if we are learning about teen tal katha then we must know that this tal has 16 digits it means sola matra sola matra ta so listen that we are going to learn teen tal katha and teen tal katha comes in 16 digit sola matra remember and one uh, of the very important thing of katha is uh, like how many gharanas are there in katha so here we have three gharanas of katha that is one is Lucknow gharana one is Jaipur gharana and one is Banaras gharana so basically I belong to Lucknow gharana okay it means my all the teacher okay my all the teacher will belong to that particular gharana so I have been trained under that gharana okay so here I am going to tell you the first basic start of Kathak 
is Namaskar. Yes, exactly. Namaskar. Whenever a classical dancer comes on the stage or wherever, he or she must be knowing about how to do the Namaskar. How to obey our teachers, our gurus or our audience and especially how to obey our stage. Because for a dancer, for a classical dancer, the audience, the stage and the ambience are treated as God. Okay? So first we have to learn about how to obey yes and how to pay respect yes this is the way to pay respect to our audience to our teachers to our gurus or to our environment so suppose that I am a classical dance student and I am coming on the stage to show you something then first I will come like this and here I am going to show you this Namaskar under 16 digit yes 16 digit how to do Namaskar first you have to make mudra like this mudra is called Pataka Mudra. Okay? This is called Pataka Mudra. You have to make, you have to create your fingers like this. This is Pataka Mudra. Then you have to place it here. Okay, and then we will start counting like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1. And we have to place our leg, our feet as a V shape. Okay? V shape. So this is the first posture of a Kathak dance. So again we are going to learn how to perform Namaskar in 16 digit remember namaskar in 16 digit so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 1 again we are going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1. Or else, we have the second way also that how to perform Namaskar is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1. Okay? So here we have two ways of performing Namaskar. And this Namaskar comes in 16 digit. Yes. So these were the two kind of Namaskar. We can do it according to our convenience. Like if we are doing this speedily, uh, this will be like this. The second kind. Okay. 
okay so these are the two kind of namaskar whenever we have to enter on our stage or in our dance class first we have to do this namaskar because this is the tradition if you are learning classical dance form any of the classical dance form if you are are uh, not doing this it means you are not paying respect to your dance form as well as to your teacher so now the next important thing while learning classical dance that um uh, those little bells yes in hindi that is called ghungru okay that is called ghungru and there are also many 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 types of ghungru many numbers of ghungru okay when we uh, we try here on our feet that ghungru so i am going to show you that which kind of ghungru we use while performing kathak or while learning kathak so this is also very important thing when we are packing our ghungru that how to keep it uh pital yes pital uh ghungru are the best ghungru when we are learning kathak so it is very important that you preserve or you pack your ghungru in a cotton in a cotton material coating okay so you can see that this is the cotton material coating i have kept it here so this is very important lesson that how to tie your belt your belt on your feet before performing classical dance form we have a number of gurus like these gurus are the 11 number gurus yes 11 number gurus and this is a big one you are a big or elder student that you have to tie this one if you are the young one then you can tie the half of this bell it means in this length of bell there are 150 yes 150 bells tie wonderfully to make this ghungru okay 150 at one leg and 150 to another leg so now i will i will tell you that how to tie this ghungru because if you are a learner of classical dance you must know that how to tie this ghungru this is the technique you make one round around your It is 
very important to learn when you are a classical dancer or if you want to be a classical dancer or a good learner then how to talk okay then what i have done that i have just unfolded this fold from here and pulled it from here and then took one round to here look this thread is just crossing from middle of the groove this thread is just crossing the middle of the groove and now i'm tying it like this the another knot and since my bells are very heavy so i'm just going to give the another knot it means two knots are here so that it can't be open at the middle of the dance so this is the technique this is the way how to tie bows now the same process i am going to do with the other leg now we are ready for the performance on dandy okay so this is the process now when we have learned that how to tie the bungalow then we are going to do the namaskar one again with our full attire and how we are going to do namaskar 12 okay so this is namaskar and after doing namaskar we start anything else 